Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overall Sandbox and Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In this video I explore sort of an obvious question. What happens if we scale up the Falcon 9 rocket and replace the Merlin engines with Raptor engines, right? Sure everybody's thought of that, many people have probably done it before, but um, it's leading up to more complicated developments that I have in mind. Uh, in particular, what happens if we replace the upper stage with more of a starship thing? And, you know, maybe it wouldn't look exactly like Starship, maybe it'll be more like a lifting body plane, I don't know. Uh, we could explore various possibilities with that. And, you know, what kind of performance would it get? But first, we're just going to do a basic payload capacity test. This is non-reusable first, and then we'll try reusable. And I've shaped it pretty much exactly like a Falcon 9. The fairing is actually probably a little bit thinner. Uh, we are at 5.2 meters. I've made it thin and long. Uh, we could make it shorter and stubbier, like more like a um, star, uh, Starship Super Heavy sort of deal. But I kept it like this. And we're aiming for 57 tons to orbit non-reusable. So let's take it outside and see if we can do that much. And then we'll see about other numbers. It's about twice the mass of a Falcon 9 and that's because of the thrust of the engines. Right now these are the current state of Raptor engines as far as I know. So this would be a lower bound if they operate the engines that will improve. Uh, so they'll, they'll need a bigger rocket and then we would also be able to lift more with it. But as it is, its capacity should be more than a Falcon Heavy. But we'll see. Okay, so there it is in all of its glory. I'll just manually launch it this time. and But the KOS script will handle it for the reusable one since it's configured to shut down the engines appropriately as it would on the Falcon 9. So SAS on. It's actually a little bit shorter than I thought it would be. Anyway, ignition. And launch. We can't really make it any thinner though, and that's because we wouldn't be able to fit the nine engines at the bottom if it's any thinner. So it's the thinnest it can be while f fitting all nine engines at the bottom. Of course, our engine models might be a little bit generous on the nozzles, I don't know. So yeah, I don't know if there's some sort of semi-official name or fan name for a Raptor 9 kind of rocket. I'm definitely not interested in sticking with the name Raptor 9, so if you have suggestions, please offer them. Well, we should be through Max-Q and everything. I should have mentioned the tanks. I tried for the same sort of mass, mass ratios that they have, but this is a composite tank just to get the numbers as close to the Falcon 9 one in terms of mass ratio as possible and this is just a normal aluminum lithium tank. Okay, separation and ignition. I don't have the little hydraulic piston thing going on this, so... Uh, we might be able to carry more than this actually. Interesting shading on the engine there. And I think we can do fairing set. Let's make sure that happens separately from that. Okay. Oh, throttle up. I like these new procedural truss payload adapters. Those are nice. A lot of new procedural things that are nice, but the procedural fairings have some sort of weird shader issue for me. They don't look right. So, uh, the, uh, the procedural fairings with the recolor UI, yeah, they, they look uh, like they've got a shader issue, so maybe an update to procedural parts fixes that and I just haven't gotten it. Okay, shut down, 252 by 234, 370 meters per second left, so maybe a little bit more than this, though, that's probably, no, that, that's a fair amount of, well, no, I think. I'm overreading that. Uh, maybe 60 tons. Maybe 60 tons is possible, but let's get on with the reusable test. 
Nobody's going to want to use it non reusable, surely. Okay, so this time we've got the landing legs on and grid fins on, and actually my own little RCS thrusters, the EV, not that. Uh, there we go. Uh, these blocks are the ED2X conformal RCS blocks that use methane and oxygen. Uh, you may have seen in series. I don't know why there's a gap there though. We'll figure it out some other time. Let's just ignore that for now. <laughs> um, okay, so we are not going to do the landing though because one thing I don't have in here is a probe core. So for now we won't be doing that part. And, but we will reserve the fuel and see if we can get a 40 ton payload to orbit is what we're going for here. So edit uh, Raptor 9. Technically it's the same as the Falcon 9 script. I'm not changing it at all. Oh, I should have disabled the grid fins. Um, let's make them inactive, please. Okay, they're all inactive. Now it is going for a relatively steep trajectory which aids in the recovery of the first stage for Falcon 9, so... Okay, we are certainly past max Q. And looking good so far. Okay, let's see... Okay, it stopped all that. Igniting the upper stage. Off goes the first stage. How much delta V does it have? Oh, we don't have a core, so I can't see right now. Okay. Was this script told to do fairings? Yes, it'll do fairings at 150 kilometers. This vacuum engine could do with an even larger nozzle, maybe. So if there's interest, I'll produce a real body for this. Obviously this is all procedural tanks right now, but they'll give me the numbers that I'll use to make a rocket out of it. And then there's the question, what should the rocket look like? Should it look like a Falcon 9? Should it be more starshipy? Um, should it be something completely different? Would you like it in pink? <laughs> um, the possibilities are endless, so... I'm tempted to do a steampunk rocket, but then it's not really a steampunk engine. We should have like steam and stuff. There was a mod like that once upon a time. Don't know if it's still available, but... Off go the fairings. Could make it in black, electron style. To be honest though, the new procedural tanks with the recoloring UI is pretty good. I mean, you can look at the texture on this. This is just a procedural tank and it's looking pretty nice. Really happy that they added that in. Okay, well this is looking more straightforward than I thought it would be. I didn't expect to hit the right number right away. But we're pretty darn close right now with a 40 ton payload. Doesn't seem too far off. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we fell a little bit short of what it was wanting. But we are in orbit 226 by 184. And we have deposited this payload, which is 39.9 whatever tons. So let's call it 40 tons. That is the spent tank. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, we can check the mass here. Yep, 39.94. Alright, so, well, that's my testing done. <laughs> uh, okay, so I don't have to do a few more of those. Uh, landing test, I'll save for another day, probably during the live stream. It's always exciting with all the explosions. But uh, for now, that is the answer, at least with uh, the engine configurations we have right now. 60 tons uh, without reusability, 40 tons with the first stage being reusable, though not the second stage, right? Uh, if we convert the second stage to a starshipy sort of thing, that uh, probably adds overhead and brings us down 
a little bit further maybe it'll be able to carry 33 tons that would make sense because it's like one third of a super heavy plus starship anyway so with that i'll say thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and i'll see you next time